Hi student, in this video we are going to discuss about LCD interfacing with 8021 microcontroller. LCD is a very important and widely used display unit and it's been mostly used in all kind of embedded projects and electronic products. If you look at the features of LCD, you can find widespread use replacing all the LED displays. Few reasons which makes LCDs most widely used to device in all embedded projects and electronic product reason is declining price of LCD. And also it has the ability to display numbers, characters, as well as graphics. And one more important thing about the LCD is initially it requires in a separate refreshing controller to retain the information on the LCD screen. Now it's been a part of your LCD itself. So no more LCD requires a separate controller to take care of refreshing operation. But also programming an LCD for displaying your character graphics it's quite simple. So these are the some of the features which makes LCD is most widely used in most of the electronic products. One of the basic and most commonly used LCD type is called 16 cross 2 LCD. The name implies that it has two lines with a 16 character on each line. The 2 cross 16 means that it can able to display the content in two lines and each line is capable of displaying 16 characters. So in total, I am able to display 32 characters at the same time on my LCD screen. And also, it supports all the ASCII characteristics and it's basically used for displaying all for numeric characteristics. When I say characteristics, the characters will be displayed in a matrix format with a 5 cross, 5, 5 cross 7 pixels. Apart from this commonly used alphanumeric characters, it also provides a provision to display the custom cortex by creating a pattern. So which means that the LCD can be used for multiple purposes. One is to display your ASCII character and special characteristics. Apart from this, you can generate a, your own kind of a pattern and you can project that onto the LCD display. So this is a pin details of an LCD, 2 cross 16 LCD. And uh, let's look at the first pin. The first pin is ESS, which is meant for providing in a ground signal. Second pin is VDD, which is used for covering your LCD screen. Third one is VEE, which means that it's a contrast voltage controller. Upon what is the intensity you want on your LCD screen, you can adjust this is this VE terminal. VE generally connected to a potential meter. If wearing a potential meter, you can control the contrast of your LCD screen. Next is register select. There are two important registers which will be used in related to programming LCD. One is called data register, another one is called command register. Whenever you want to give some instruction to LCD to perform certain operations, then we must use the command register to pass our value. Whenever we want to display the characters on my LCD screen, in that case I should place the data onto the data register. Command is for giving an instruction to the LCD how it should behave. A data register is responsible for displaying the data whatever you want to display it on the LCD screen. Next is read write. What operation you are going to carry out on the LCD, whether it's the read operation or write operation, which means that you are trying to display something is called write operations and you are reading the character whatever been already present in the LCD screen called read operation. <coughs> and the next very important pin is called enable. Whenever you want to use your LCD screen, we have to pass a high to low signal. 
to indicate that you are passing in a data for data, regist data register and command register. The enabled signal must be high to low whenever you are performing any operation related to LCD screen. And the next 8 bit specify the data whatever you are intended to transmit. So data 0 belongs to 7th pin and data 7 is belongs to 14th pin. So all this 8 bit data will be passed to an LCD screen. And it depends upon what value being selected, RS, register select, whether it's going for command register or a data register, this data will be passed to the respective registers. After which we have a two more additional pin which are called as backlight anode and a backlight cathode. So this is generally connected to the backlight anode is connected to positive terminal and the backlight cathode will be connected to ground terminal. As I mentioned the 2 cross 16 LCD has two lines and 16 character can be displayed on individual lines. If you look at the each character on the LCD screen, it is actually compressed of 5 cross 7 matrix. So 5, 5 columns and 7 rows of combinations will try to display your data. So this is a one of the character we are trying to display on the LCD screen which is B, B character. So here it takes 5 cross 5 matrix among which the necessary pixels which are essential to display B character alone mean ground and other all in off state. So this is simply making in a respective pixel on state or off state to display your character. Previously we saw what are the different pins we will be having in 2 cross 16 LCD and their functionality. Now in a detailed fashion we will try to discuss this 2 cross 16 LCD pin details. As I mentioned VSS is for providing a ground terminal for the LCD, VCC for providing a power supply for the LCD and VE is actually used for adjusting the contrast which is commonly attached to a potentiometer and uh, the and the next three a pin RS RW enable those are the very very important pins when you're working with LCD RS a register select is the register select pin used to do write display data to the LCD this pin has to be set to I when writing the data to the LCD so whenever you are trying to perform operation onto the LCD screen we must select the register select. So if you are selecting RS value is equal to 0, it's going to be given in some fashion. If you are selecting RS value is equal to 1, it's going to be given in some other format. Let's see, for RS is equal to Whenever you are making RS value equal to 0, which means that you are trying to use LCD for LCD registers for sending the command information. Whenever you are using RS equal to 1, you are trying to pass the data to the LCD screen. So here, RS value may be either 0 or 1. If it's a 0, it's going to act as a command register instruction. If it's going to be 1, it's going to accept as a data value. Next is RW. So whenever you are considering RW, read operation, write operations. If you made R slash W value is equal to 0, it's performing in a write operation. And whenever you are performing in a reading operation, the value of R slash W should be set to 1. Next is enable. Enable is a pin which is used for starting or enabling the module and a high to low pulse must be supplied with a 450 nano second pulses to activate this enable signal. 
So the three important pin which we'll be focusing for programming or else it is RS, RW, E. R is equal to zero means you're sending the command. R is equal to one means you're sending the data. R slash W is equal to zero means you're writing data onto the LCD. R slash W is equal to one, which means that you're reading the data from the LCD. E is an enabled signal. You have to use the signal whenever you want to enable the module. For enabling this, you must send high to low pulse about 450 nanoseconds delay. This is the set of uh, six pins and their functionalities in LCD. The remaining pins description is given here. So seventh pin onwards till 14th pin, you have the function of having in a data bit 0, data bit 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So these are the ASCII characters or command data, whatever we want to send it to LCD that will be passed only through DB0 to DB7. Even though the name specify it's a data bits, we can send the commands also along using this data bits. Next is backlit of the LED should be connected to VCC and another pin which is meant for connecting the LCD, backlight of the LCD to the ground terminal. So these are the pin details of your 2 cross 16 LCD screen. Let's see, how do we interface the 851 microcontroller with the LCD screen? As I mentioned, LCD interface has 16 pins. And we have seen the function of each and individual pin separately. As I said, the first pin is VSS, which is a ground signal. It's connected, connected to ground. The second pin is VDD, which must be connected to 5 volt supply. As you can see, it is connected to 5 volt supply. Next is VEE. It is actually meant for controlling the contrast of, contrast of LCD screen. So generally, it is connected to an potentiometer. And the next three important pins for our LCD operation is RS, RW, enable. So these are all connected to port pins P3.2, P3.3, P3.4. So by sending the values onto the P3.2, P3.3 and P3.4, you can able to control the operation of LCD display. Along with this, port 2, the entire port 2 is used for sending that data to the LCD. And uh, the next consecutive pin is going to be LED anode. So this is for the backlight of the LCD and usually it must be connected to 5 volt supply and LED K must be connected to ground terminal. So this is how we make the LCD interface. While we are discussing about digits of LCD, I mentioned two important registers that will be used for programming the LCD uh, in LCD. One is command register, another one is called data register. What do you mean by command register and data register? The purpose of the command register is to store the command instructions given to the LCD. There are two information we are going to send it to LCD. One is called command, another one is called data. What do you mean by command is, whenever I want to have a control over the LCD on its operation, I'll be sending the information through a command register. Whenever I want to display the information, that will be done through a data register. So the purpose of command is just to store the command instructions given to the LCD. The command is an instruction given to LCD to do the predefined task. What are the different tasks it will be carrying out upon receiving the command is initializing the LCD, clearing the screen, setting up the course pos cursor position, controlling a display, controlling the backlight, switching on, switching off the backlight, moving the cursor. So these are the, some of the command operations that has been carried out by the LCD screen. When it comes to data register, it basically stores the data to be displayed on the LCD screen. The data is the ASCII value of the character which we need to be displayed on the LCD screen. So the simple difference between these two is command register is used for providing an instruction to the LCD how it has to behave whereas what value you want to display on the LCD 
that will be passed through on a data register. So here I have listed out some of the commands which are related to LCD interface. The first command is 01 that is for clearing the screen. So whenever you are passing the value 01 to the LCD, it clears the screen. But you must mention that you have sent the command signal. So before you are doing operation with LCD, you have to pass that value to some registers. From that register, you have to pass it to an LCD screen. So while you are doing this, you have to mention to the LCD whatever the value you are going to pass, it should be accepted as a data or command. So we have a separate subroutine which is meant for carrying out this command passing and data passing. So whenever you are trying to pass some value onto the LCD screen, you have to mention whether it's in a command or data. So whenever I pass the value 01 command to the LCD screen, what it does is it simply clears the screen. It erases the, all the characters which are present in the screen and simply makes it empty. 02, which makes returning to a home. That is the initial point of your cursor. Next is increment the cursor. So you want to move in an incremental fashion or a decremental fashion that is decided by the command value of 04. Shift display right. So whenever you are displaying a character, after which how does the cursor should move? So it should move in a right fashion. And next is increment the cursor. How we seen the operation of decrement the cursor? We have command six value to perform the increment cursor operation. Next, the command 07. Shift display left. You want to move the display from the left hand side, then you have to pass the command of 07. Next is 08, that is meant for LCD display off, cursor off. So you will not see the backlight of the LCD as well as cursor will be off. 0 is for display off, cursor on. Display alone will be in off state whereas the cursor will be remains in the LCD screen. Whereas 0, 3, 0 C is meant for both, sorry, uh, display on, cursor off. The LED will be in on state, can able to visualize but the cursor will not be visible to you. Whereas 0 is display on, cursor blinking off. It will make the display on, but a cursor will not be blink for you. And 0F, it makes the LCD on, that is display on, and also makes the cursor on, and meanwhile it blinks the cursor. So in most of the time, whenever you are trying to work with the LCD, you try to pass this Two important values either 0e or 0f. So 0f makes LCD on, cursor on, and cursor blinking on. Whereas OE it simply displays LCD on, whereas cursor blinking will be off. So it will simply display the cursor to you. Next is 10. So whenever you have passed to one character, what is the next position it has to move on? So for this, we have to pass the value 10, 10 for making a shift of cursor from the current position to the left hand side, 14 is for the shift the cursor position to the right side, and 80, the purpose of 80 is to force the cursor to the beginning of the first line, beginning of the first line. So there is a difference between the return home and then force cursor, so force cursor Again, it will come to the beginning of the first line. Whereas, if you are trying to display some character on the second line and you have given some information on the LCD screen, in the middle of information, you want to move again to the first position of your second line. In that case, we can use this return home. But also, you can explicitly mention the value through which also you can do the cursor movement operations. So 80 is to force the cursor to begin the first line and 8G. So 8 is meant for forcing the cursor to begin the first line. 0 is the position here. Whereas 3 means it will 
display the data from the third position onwards. That is from the third character. On the 16 character display of your first line LCD screen, it will begin with the position number 3. And the C0 is a very common thing which is used for displaying the character from the second line onwards. And if you are mentioning C1, then it displays the position 1 onwards. If you are displaying C5, it starts the value from fifth position and beyond this beyond all this instruction the first and the very essential instructions you must to force to the LCD screen is 38. The purpose of 38 is to initialize the 2 cross 16 LED 5 cross 7 matrix LCD. So the purpose of 38 command is is used to initialize the 2 cross 16 5 cross 7 matrix LCD screen. So those are the list of commands we have in LCD to interface the 8 microcontroller to the LCD display. Let's come to the programming part. I have an 8 microcontroller and I have LCD screen with me. How do I have programming after making an interconnection between these two as per the circuit diagram shown before? So after making an interconnection, I have to do a programming on the 8 microcontroller to display some information onto the LCD screen. So here is the list of steps what you need to follow to program LCD. It's a very simple three-step process. The first process is called initializing of LCD. Second is called sending in a command to the LCD. Third is called writing a data to the LCD. What we'll be doing in the first step is we will be passing the value of 38 to the LCD so that it does the initialization process. The next consecutive thing what we must do is we have to instruct the LCD how it has to behave whenever the data being displayed. So for that we should send set of commands which are essential for our application. Third, once we have instructed the LCD how it has to behave for displaying the character, we have to display the character for which we should send the data to the LCD. So whatever the character you are trying to display on the LCD screen, that will be passed through a data register of LCD. Whatever the operation the LCD has to perform, something like movement operation of cursor, LCD on off status, these are all the controlled informations. These are control instructions will be carried out by the command values. So let's see how do we initialize the LCD screen. So the steps whatever I'm going to propose here, it's almost common for all sort of applications which has 8521 microcontroller interfaced with LCD screen. First, we must send a value of 38. This is the command value, the 8-bit data line for initialization, first initialization. After which, we have to send a value of 0F or some case you can send the value of 0E. So it depends on your wish. So 0F makes the LCD display in on state. Cursor in on state and cursor blinking in on state. So by passing this OF, you are making the LCD screen on and providing or indicating the cursor point on the LCD. The next important thing of important information we need to pass is 06. So once you are trying to display, what order the display has to perform. So it's an incrementing cursor position. After which, we will be sending the value of 0, 1 for clearing the display. So these two steps are interchanged. Sometimes they first clear the screen, after which they try to incorporate the incrementing cursor position instruction to the LCD. Or sometimes they first do the incremental cursor position operation. Then they tr try to clear the data which is already existing in the LCD screen using instruction 0, 1. Next is sending a command to LCD. First process we have carried out of initializing the LCD. Second is carrying out the operation of passing the command to the LCD. How do we send the command to the LCD? So first instruction sends command data. Command data is nothing but the values whatever I've listed. 38 for initializing, 01 for clearing, 06 for incrementing the cursor position. So all these are called as command data. 
So first you must send this command data to the command register. But how does this LCD display will comes to know I'm receiving the command information, not the data information. So for this we have a configuration settings in the LCD. The first configuration what you have to make is R slash W is equal to low. Read slash write pin must be set to low. So operation behind setting this R slash W value as low is it makes the LCD receive the data from the 82 microcontroller or in other way we are trying to perform the right operation on onto the LCD screen. So whenever I make this R slash value is equal to high, which means that I'm trying to perform a read operation from the LCD. And the next command what should I pass is RS is equal to zero. So RS is nothing but register selects but decides you know what value I'm passing, whether it's a data or command. So whenever I pass the value RS is equal to zero data whatever I'm passing it's actually a command whereas if you look at the writing a data to L3 whenever I pass R is equal to 1 the data byte whatever I'm transmitting is actually the data not the command so the difference between sending a command to the L3 and writing a data is R is equal to 0 for the case of command R is equal to 1 for the case of a data as usual once you have done this we must enable our model using a Enable pin for which we have to send high to low pulse signal with some delay. So, our case it's 420 nanoseconds. And after which, you have to repeat the same step for sending another data. So, this is for the command. So, first I'll pass the command to the command register. I'll make the setup the setting R slash W is equal to low and RS is equal to 0 and pulse E will have high to low as a signal with some delay and I'll repeat the same step again and again. The same case is for the data. I'll place the data whatever I want to display on the LCD. I'll mix R slash W is equal to low and I mix the R S value is equal to 1 if the database data is displayed. Then I'll send the pulse of E from high to low with some delay. And I'll repeat the same step again to watch another data. So this is the procedures involved in programming in an LCD. The first one is initialization of the LCD. Initialization, we pass the set of commands to the LCD. And these are the commands. So for that, the LCD has to respond accordingly. So for which I have to do some configurations. Making our RW value as low, RS is equal to 0, and the E is high to low signal. And I'm repeating the same step for every command. Here, Data whatever I want to display, I'm putting into the data register, I'm making RW value is equal to low, RS value is equal to 1, and I'm sending the high to low pulse on the pin number E, and I'm repeating the same step. So this is what the three important steps involved in programming in a LCD screen. Let's move on to the programming aspects. Write an 8051 assembly language program to display the message N and O on LCD display. So I want to display some character on the LCD screen. The character what I'm intended to display is N O. No. Okay. For which we must aware how the LCD has been interconnected to 8021 microcontroller. What are the pins are used for providing a data information and the other configuration related uh, pin information something like RS, RW, VSS, VDD, VE, LED anode, LED cathode and enable signal. So here it's listed out the set of pins which are connected to different pins of the LCD. If to one port P1.0, 1.7 is directly connected to LCD data pins D0 to D7. So we are completely utilizing a port 1 for communicating with LCD data pins. P2.0 is connected to RS pin, register select pin. P2.1 is connected to read write pin of LCD. And P2.2 is actually connected to enable pin of LCD. So whenever you are trying to do a configuration of LCD screen with the 8051 interface, 
the most essential pin you require to do the interfacing is P1.0 to 1.7 connected to any one of the board. The remaining three important pins, RS, RW and Enable, this must be connected to any one of the ports of the ADFTOR microcontroller to control the LCD. As I mentioned, the steps involved in programming LCD can be separated with the three different steps. Step 1, initializing. Step 2, sending a command. Step 3, writing the data onto the data register. So first, we are going to pass the commands for initializing the LCD. So for this, I have a separate subroutine meant for carrying out the command writing operation. So this is the subroutine which is meant for performing a command writing operation. And this is a subroutine for performing in a data write operation. And I need to generate a delay between the consecutive operations, whatever I'm carrying out. So for that, I have a delay function which involves a, which involves uh, three registers, R3, R4, sorry, R3 and R4, two registers to carry out the delay operations. So we'll begin with the code one. ORG 00H, so I'm initializing my location on my 8 microcontroller. Move A, comma, hash 38. So the values which are indicated in a blue color, which is actually giving in a significance of, it is actually a value what we are passing to the LCD. Now I'm moving the value of 38 to a 8, and 38 in this case it's considered as an A command required to initialize the 2 cross 16 LCD. So whenever you are trying to pass some command value onto the LCD screen, we should call the command write subroutine. Whenever you are trying to pass the display, trying to pass the character which you need to display, for example, n in this case, I have to call the data write. The command write must be called whenever you are writing a command to the LCD. And the data write is a function that is meant for writing a date onto the LCD or displaying the date onto the LCD. Since I'm passing the command, I'm calling the A call command write. So this is a label what I've used to indicate my command write subroutine. Okay. So I'm passing the value onto the A. Now A is holding my 38 value and I'm calling my command write. Let's get in the command write function now. The command write, I'm passing the value to the port one. Why I'm passing the value to the port 1 is because port 1 is connected to the data pins of LCD screen. After which, I have to carry out the set of configuration which I need to do it on the LCD screen for passing my command instruction. The configuration, first configuration is RS must be set to 0 for sending a command. Read write must be set to 0 for performing a write operation. After which, the value of Enable must be set from high to low signal. So first I'm setting the high signal by using set P, P2.2. So P2.2 is a pin which is meant for connecting to an enable pin in my LCD screen. After which I'm calling a delay. Again I'm, call, I'm clearing this P2.2. So I'm simply doing generation of high to low pulse with some delay. And I'm returning back to the original program. So once you are coming to a common write subroutine, you are passing the value whatever you have, you have been received through accumulator to the port 1. After that, I am setting up the RS as 0, RW as 0, E is equal to 1, and I am calling the delay and I am making E is equal to 0. The only difference between the command write program and the data write program is RS. The register select will be set to 1 for the data write operation. Register select will be set to 0 for command instruction. So once you have received the return instruction, it will come back from the call instruction wherever it left the execution. It will come for executing this A call delay. As I said, whenever we are trying to pass some data to the LCD, we must have an enough delay between the two consecutive operations. So that's why they're calling a delay. So the delay function is a very 
control one. Once it's got to do a delay, we are passing the value 50 to R3 and 255 to R4. And we are doing a decremental operation of DJNS at R4 here. So this instruction will be remains in the same position till R4 becomes zero. That is 250 times this instruction will be executed. After which it will come to execution of this DJNS at R3. R3 is was initialized initialized to 50, so now it has been decremented by 1, so that it will get 49, and it will come back to here. So again, it reloads the R4 value. So how this loop will behave is 50 multiplied with 255. That is the amount of time what it executes this entire code. So because of this executions, large execution of instructions. It generates a delay. That delay is more than enough to be used for our LCD screen delay purpose. And once you did this, get back to a return. So once you are getting into a return, we come back to a call delay here. After finishing this, again you are moving in another data that is 0e. 0e is for display on or cursor on. Sometimes they use 0f to make display on, cursor on, and cursor blinking operation case it's 0e so we are simply making a display on and cursor on and again we are calling the a call command write instruction write subroutine so the same function what we have seen it will pass the value whatever you are trying to have it on a to the p1 and we are indicating whatever the value i'm passing to the port one it's not a data it's a command using the set of instructions given here by making RS value is equal to 0, RW value is equal to 0, and E is equal to 1, and then calling the delay, and then making E is equal to 0, we are sending the command to the LCD to make the LED, LCD on, and cursor on, cursor blinking. After which, again, I am calling a delay, so it will go for calling the delay, wait for some time, and then come back to the same state, same instruction again. Now, I am moving the value move A, comma, 0, 1, which is actually clearing my LCD screen. And then uh, this is a instruct, this is a command. So I'm passing that to a command write operations. After which I'm calling a delay. Again, 06 I'm passing. It makes a cursor shift in the right position. Or apart from this instruction, you can give your own <coughs> instructions that are essential for your applications. So 06 is being passed to an LCD to perform the shift cursor write operations and a common write command write operations a call delay and uh, from where the uh, display has to begin so that will be instructed using this 84 so 80 is a instruction used for beginning your first line first position but if you are putting 84 which means that it is going to start from the fourth position of your LCD screen and again, it's the command right, so I'm writing calling command right delay. So, till this, we are doing the operation of passing the data, passing the command to the LCD screen. Next operation is I have to display the character whatever I want to display it on the LCD to be specified now. So, again, it's the same instruction move a comma hash what ASCII value you want to display that should be provided within a single code functional so move a comma hash within code n so n will be passed to accumulator which means that indirectly we are passing the ascii value of n to the a and after which we are calling the data right let's come back to the data right data right whatever the operation i carried out in the command right i'm doing the same except one i'm making my rs value is equal to one instead of zero to indicate the lcd that i'm passing the data not the command First, I'm passing the accumulator value to the port 1. I'm setting my P2.0 pin that is RS equal to 1 for informing this is a data LCD. And I'm clearing my P2.1 pin which is meant for indicating read or write operation. I'm trying to do a write operation for slash W must be set to 0. And I have to send an enable signal to activate the LCD module. For sending an enable signal, I'm making the enable pin as high, calling some delay, and making it low. And then I'm coming back to the same program using a return instruction. So once it returns, it returns 
instruction, it will come back to the A call delay. So it will call the A call delay subroutine, it will execute, wait for some time, after which it will go for passing the next value. So after executing this three instructions, we are able to visualize on the LCD that N has been printed on the fourth position of your LCD screen. And after which, move A comma hash zero, sorry, O. So that calls again a data write operation. So it will perform the data write operations, whatever you have given, and then it will come back to the original state. So when it's come back again, let's jump again. It remains here itself. So after this, what it does is it simply waits by displaying NO character onto the LCD screen. So this is a program for the displaying in a two character N and O onto the LCD screen. A similar fashion how we displayed the character, we are able to display the word, which means that multiple characters together can be displayed on the LCD screen. So the, for this, the concept what we are going to incorporate is called the database. We'll be storing whatever the data we want to display onto the database and by accessing in a data pointer we are going to display each character onto the LCD screen. Let's begin the description of displaying in a hello onto the LCD screen using a data pointer. So in this case the same fashion port 1 is meant for connecting D0 to D7 and port 2 is connected for port 2 pointer is connected for read select sorry register select p2.1 is going for read or write operation p2.2 is connected for enable signal so here instead of displaying in you know, a one character onto the lcd screen at a time i'm going to pass all the character to the lcd screen so for this appropriate method what we are going to use is called database so this three lines are very very important on your program and over the 300 where I'm going to write my data, whatever I want to display on the LCD screen. So before that, I'm passing the instructions, the LCD the command, how it has to be here. So there are two databases available. The first database is holding a value of 38, 0E, 01, 06, 84, 0. So this all the set of command, what should I pass it to LCD to perform the initialization operation. 38 is for initializing your LCD. 0E makes your LCD in on state, closer on state, closer blinking. 01 is for clearing your LCD screen. 06 is for performing in a right shift operation. Likewise, 84 is the position from where you have to start displaying the characters. And 0. So this is intentionally added onto the database. This will not place any role on working with LCD. The purpose of zero present on this particular instruction is simply to indicate the end of database. So on all the database, you can find zero at lost in the database. This is simply to indicate need to indicate end of the database using this zero value. EB, hello. So here, whatever the character I want to display, I am putting it under the database with the label name my data. So my com is nothing but my commands. My data is the data what I want to display. DB. So whatever the value you want to display, you can write it as such. And once you want to indicate that all the values have been passed, we're using a zero on our database to indicate the end of data. So these are the three important lines of your coding using database. And you can see here the delay routine, the same delay routine what we experienced in the previous program. The only difference is instead of 55 in the previous program, here we have 250. So you will be generating in a somewhat higher delay compared to the previous program. So all the remaining codes are remains the same. And if you look at the command right. So there is no change in the command write instructions compared to the previous one. We are moving the value whatever you have occurred to accumulate it to the port 1. This port 1 is connected to the data bits of LCD. And then we are making RS equal to 0 to indicate the command. P2.0 has been set, P2.1 has been set to 0. 
this is to indicate we are performing a write operation and we are making enable high to low with some delay to enable our L3 module. Data write, all the same code, whatever we used in the previous program remains the same except RS is equal to 1. So it's the same program what we did previously. Com command write is same, data write is the same instructions, delay is the same, only the difference is delay value. And the additional program what we included is for database. For database, we have a two database. One is for specifying the commands what we need to post LCD and the data which we need to display it on the LCD screen. All these are present under the 300 memory location. Now let's begin our program. So whenever we have provided the information through database to access this information, we have to use the DPTR. With the help of a DPTR and accumulator, we'll be incrementing the position of the data every time and the access and then displays on the LCD screen. So let's begin with this move data pointer mycom. So what is the first value you want to display perform on the LCD operation? That must be pointed out at the initial stage. So my command, so I had a command of 38H, 01, 06, 84, etc have to indicate those memory location onto the DPTR to begin its operation. So I'm indicating my position, my command label to the DPTR. Previously, the, the accumulator might have some other values to ensure that it is clean. We are making this clear operation of accumulator, clear A. Next is move C A at A plus DPTR. So whenever you are using a DPTR, we'll be using this memory C. A. What we are doing is the value of A is 0. So this is 0 here. 0 here. 0 plus DPTR. DPTR is nothing but my position of the my command label. So that is 300. So here 300 plus 0 again it results 300. At the rate of 300 means what is the value which is present of the 300 memory location you bring that to the accumulator. So simply what we are doing is the first, the first value, 38, now it's been brought to accumulator. So once you brought into accumulator, we have to pass this value to the LCD through some ports and we must indicate this is a command right. So after doing this, I'm calling the command right. So we have seen the command right instruction. It sets the RS value. RW value, enable pins, etc. according to command write instructions and then pass the value to the port 1. And I'm calling a delay. So once you call delay, I have to increment my DT data pointer to access the next data. So after 38, we have an, a data of 0E in this case. So 0E must be accessed by the LCD screen. For this, we are incrementing the DPTR. Now the DPTR will be pointing out the next instruction, next value that is 0E. And now I am checking whether I have completed my all the operation. A is that means 1.0, send data. So it will check whether all the value has been completed. So once it's completed, it will process for the data value to get processed under the LCD. But we are trying to access 0E, not the zero value on the database so since it's not zero since it's not zero it will get into a next instruction where we are jumping to an a c1 label so again it will clear the accumulator perform the operation of next zero e value to be passed to the accumulator zero will be sent as a command to the lcd we'll call the delay and increment the data pointer to locate the next value which is zero one for clearing the lcd screen so now again it's not a zero so again, it will get back to a, a loop of C1 and clears the, clears the accumulator, access the next command value, pass the command to the LCD, and this will form. So whatever the command you want to pass, you can write it in the database. And if you are writing the program, something like this, you can able to access all the commands simultaneously in the same time. So this is simply to perform the command operation. Next, next our operation is going to be data operation, for which the condition is 1.0. So whenever you have passed all the data, the last data would be 0 on your accumulator. The 0 will be analyzed here, 
1.0 to send data. So once it's become zero, it indicates it's the end of command. So it will move to the send data. The send data will have a similar instruction. There is no difference. Move dptr, ash my data, clear a, move a at a plus dptr, a call data write, a call delay, increment dptr, AC again. The only difference what we have here is where it has to move on. So instead of C1, it's been mentioned as AG again, which means that it will wait for the same line for displaying the character after accepting all the characters. If it is not doing, then it will come to a same instruction. So for the first time, the accumulator will access the value of H. So H will be brought to an accumulator. So once H been brought to accumulator, hello, data write operation is carried out. The data operations I have mentioned is similar to a command write, only the difference is the value of R, S will be set to 1. The remaining thing is going to be the same. And then we are writing the data, we are calling the delay, we are incorporating the DPTR to find out the next memory locations. And then we are checking whether we are end of database or not. So whenever there is no end, it will repeat the same operation using S jump instruction. It will go to there, it access the next value. Likewise, it keeps on perform this operation till all the values been displayed on the LCD. Finally, it will access the zero as the value. During that time, if you check the JZ instruction again, it becomes true. So what it will go where it will go to is it goes to again. So in the again instruction, we are jumping in the same instruction. So whatever the data it has been passed to the L3, it will be displayed as such till it has been switched off. So by this way, we can able to visualize of providing a board onto the L3 screen. So this is about the programming of LCD for displaying in a word. Thank you.